Hello, everybody. It's uh, November 5th, Kapow Radio Show. And we are going to do something a little different today. And um, then we'll be back next Monday with more Bible study. It's going to be good. Right, Ms. Kapow? That's right, Brother Kapow. We're going to be in James, and we're going to talk about endurance and what it takes to endure in the Christian walk. But for today, for today, what I want to do is I want to talk just briefly about what you're about to hear. I call it Celtic Chill. Celtic Chill. It'll officially be released on the 12th of this month, even though as I speak, it's already online, I think, on iTunes and Google Play. And um, what it is, is in 2010 or 2011, something like that, for a couple of years, I played with some other Christians in a harp-based Celtic group. And when, when I say Celtic, when you hear this music, I, I describe it as real relaxing spa music. That's why I call it Celtic chill. It's it's uh, beautiful. There's no lyrics or anything. It's just all musical. And uh, I was playing drums with a bass player at one church in a worship team. Her brother-in-law was playing guitar at another church uh, in the worship team. And then the harpist was playing with the youth and all this other stuff. Anyway, we kind of all met and got together and decided uh, to see what happened if we put this thing together. And we just started playing and rehearsing and doing things. And it's real beautiful. It's um, a harp bass. So you have a, a, a harp, beautiful harp, uh, acoustic guitar, bass. There's some... some um, recorder or flute in it and then i played all the irish drums i played what you call a balron uh, i even played some cajon and you know other percussions in it so it was very very beautiful music it really is beautiful music it really is and we recorded a, a little ep we recorded four songs but the songs are longer one song's like six or seven minutes long so you get a total of about 18 minutes of music in these four songs, uh, really beautiful. And we recorded this at a, a little studio in, in Hemet. And so the guy, uh, he recorded it. He got a good, you know, recording down. And, um, but we never had it mastered. We never had it mastered to, to really put out. We did put it out the way it was. And, and we sold it like when we, we used to play in Temecula, California on the street, street fairs and things like that. We sold uh, our CDs, but they were it was never mastered. And it would always sounded um, muffled or boomy, you know, because it just, uh, the, the frequencies weren't quite right. Well, this was years ago. And of course, you know, that's uh, past, you know, in my life that's gone and, you know, you forget all about it. Well, recently I was basically cleaning my online storage, you know, just like you have regular physical storage, there's online storage. Mm. So I was on my online storage site and I was looking at all this music and all these files I had up there. And I, I ran across uh, this group I used to play in and up there. And what I noticed, it wasn't just the album up there, but it was the uncompressed recording, the files. Um, it wasn't the mix files. I couldn't remix uh, the the music, but I don't need to. The guy did a real good job recording and mixing. It just wasn't mastered. And so I had the raw, uncompressed files that I could then master. So it was like a treasure that I found. It was really cool. And, um, and I'm sure I got them a long time ago from the engineer when I asked for them when we first recorded. And I just hang, hung on to them in digital storage all these years. So it was kind of cool. It was a treasure. So I took these uncompressed files and I mastered them. And mm. I I brought the frequencies back into balance and got rid of the boominess and the mud and made it clear and beautiful. And it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Did it not, Miss Capel? Oh, I love it. Beautiful, clear, crisp, beautiful music. So I t decided to take these songs and re uh because i mastered them then load them up for sale as a digital uh download as a um, 
as an album or an EP. It's not available in CD. It could be at some future time, but right now it's not. If I get any requests for a CD, I can do that, but right now it's not. And um, it's under the title, the band title, Mesquite Cafe. And I entitled it Celtic Chill under Mesquite Cafe. So those of you who may be following Mesquite Cafe on Spotify or something like that, even on iTunes, if you type in Mesquite Cafe, uh, it'll pop up because it's it's there now, even though it's not officially released till the 12th. And so today I'm going to play you the entire EP. And like I said, it's it's really relaxing music. It's really, really pretty. And I um, hope you enjoy it. If you're interested in getting it, it's online at all your digital retailers. And by the 12th, it'll be everywhere on all of them. But right now, I think it's on iTunes and Amazon. I'm not sure if it's on Spotify yet or not. But as of the 12th, it will be. All right. Yeah. So it's a little preview. It's and really like I nice. said, really nice. Thank you, Ms. Kapow. Yeah, Ms. Kapow really likes it. It's really, really pretty. And I haven't heard it in years. And when I remastered it or mastered it, it was like, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. And like I said, there's no lyrics to it. It's all instrumental, but all the musicians, all four of us were uh, Christians. So there's a spirit behind it, I believe, that's, um, that makes it real pretty. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I entitled it Celtic Chill by Mesquite Cafe. Yay. And so I'm going to play the uh, the four songs. All right? All right. God bless you. We'll talk to you next week. Bye.